What's up, guys? Matt Ogus, Legends of Aesthetics com and this is a vlog so we'll go about an hour ago it's noon make fun of me whatever <laughs> it's pretty late in the day oh shit that back though um, I'm gonna walk you through I'm gonna walk you through my day if I can actually speak it's been so long since I've kind of just vlogs for you guys I'm gonna do a little uh, quick physique update in the mirror to show you what I look like in the morning okay and this is me around um, 188 189 pounds or so Okay, and the lighting looks really weird for some reason, I don't know why, but there's that. Okay, now I get my day started, I drink, I usually drink a, a Gatorade, uh, first thing when I wake up, I'll drink a ton of water too, I'll just be drinking lots of water, and I'll drink a Gatorade as like I you know, get in the shower, after I get out of the shower, and as I begin my day, and then uh, pretty quickly I try to head off to the gym and get my gym session started. And this is Max. Hey, Max. Hey, handsome boy. Uh, he actually just got like a little grooming session yesterday, so he looks super pretty and much smaller than he did uh, yesterday. This is Max. That's Brianna's dog. But I take care of him. I am his his foster parent right now, yes. I thought I was gonna go to the gym two hours ago, but I waited for Megan to get here. Hi. Who's leaving pretty soon. Unfortunately, for school. For school. Mm -hmm. It's pretty sad. But we're going to get this last final workout <laughs> session in. Let's see how it goes. Uh, over here, I have some uh, lentils and rice cooking up, guys. That uh, It's going to be totally ready when I get back. I'll throw in some meat, throw in some vegetables, and that's good to go. Okay, so to keep you guys updated in the loop of things, I'm currently training lower, upper, off, repeat. Um, sometimes if I feel like I might need another day off before that next uh, lower body day, I, I am allowing myself to take it. Even allowing myself to take another day off before my upper body day if I feel like I need it. So far I've been keeping well on the lower upper off repeat. I'm uh, currently watching my third set of five sets of overhead press. And uh, in the past, um, I was working on a, you know, a different schedule where uh, I would uh, bench press one week and then I wouldn't overhead press until the week after and it would go back and forth and it would be you know two weeks before I uh, would overhead press again after overhead pressing and uh, increasing the frequency to now that it's uh, overhead pressing every other upper day so lower upper overhead press that upper you know off lower bench workout off lower overhead press workout and uh, resulting in a higher frequency of that since a goal of mine is to hit a 275 overhead press in the gym. I'm currently uh, have, I currently have an estimated overhead press training or overhead press max of somewhere between probably 260 to 270. I'm working off of a training max of 250. So this workout I hit five sets of seven at 75%. Next time I'm hitting um, seven sets of five at 80%. And then after that, I'll hit um, 85% for 10 sets of three. Uh, this workout basically was like a push, pull, push, pull, uh, and then try, buy rotator cuffs. And um, kind of the reason I, I am not, uh, the reason why I'm combining some percentage based work with uh, how I traditionally do my overhead presses, where I hit a top set and I drop it down in weight five to 10% based on how that top set felt, hit as many sets until I hit another RP nine or so. Uh, the reason why I'm doing uh, more of this uh, percentage training stuff is uh, because this percentage training stuff um, allows me to get much more volume in. And I'm still, you know, like RPE is still a factor. It's just I'm usually training at slightly lower RPEs compared to, uh, you know, what I normally would do. Okay, so here's how I plan on programming my overhead press for the foreseeable future. Um, this was the first workout, workout one. I did 75% for five sets of seven. I included the total volume just for those who were wondering of these workouts. Uh, workout two comes next, and then workout three. And then I plan on deloading um, this workout as well as um, the prior workout uh, will also be deloaded. And then the, the following, you know, lower and upper, I'll just deload that as well. 
uh, once I come off of that little taper or deload, whatever you want to call it, I will be uh, going for a new top set PR of 240 pounds for three to five reps. Last time I hit a top set PR, it was 235 for five. Um, so going for 240 to three to five reps, and depending on all the different factors and what plays out, um, I'll be dropping or I'll be doing back offsets with five to 10 percent reduced weight. Uh, if I hit 240 for five and it's a complete grinder, I'll drop a 10 percent. If I hit 240 for four and it's not a crazy grinder, I'll drop it, um, you know, seven percent, and that's 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 a likely situation. So what it possibly could look like is I do 240 for four, I drop it down um, about 15 pounds, and I end up doing uh, two more sets of four. And then that's just, and then I probably hit a RP9 or even higher on that second set of the tr back off sets. Or maybe I hit three sets, who knows. And what I end up doing is I add five pounds to the training max of 250, so it's now 255 and I start uh, workouts one through three over again, followed by a little deload, followed by achieve, or hitting a new top set PR. And that's how I'm com uh, currently doing my programming for Overhead Press right now.